this lesson, we will concentrate on the proportionality when cutting a triangle with a parallel line. So I have already sketched out a triangle with a line that is parallel to a side. So, and I've marked it here, BC parallel to DE. And what the question I want to ask you right now, are these two triangles now similar? Uh, triangle ABC and triangle ADE. Well, to remember, to have similar, all I really need is two congruent angles for triangles. And if this is parallel to this, this angle must be congruent to that angle. Those are corresponding angles. This angle must be congruent to this angle. Those two are corresponding angles. And to top it all off, they both have angle A in it. So actually, I've got angle, angle, angle. So yes, indeed, these are similar. Well, now that I have them similar, let's compare the sides. And I'm going to, let's make this side, we'll just do some letters, X, uh, Y, uh, W, uh, Z, like that, maybe. All right. So, uh, if those are similar, uh, in, in well, I can say that AB compared to AD, right? But maybe I would, yes. Do that what I want? Let's see. Um, maybe I want AB compared to AC. Let's do that. And that's right there. Compared to AC would be that AD. compared to AE. And if I make those match to the letters I've already assigned, that would be X compared to Y. And AD, AD, well that's X and W. X plus W. Compared to AE, Y plus Z. Okay, so this is the easy proportional. That's the first thing we did. This is a little bit, you know, a little bit different, but just another way of, of stating the same thing. Now, maybe I can use some algebra and make this prettier or come up with something new. Uh, let's get rid of the, the denominator. And to get rid of the denominator on this side, I'm going to multiply by y. To get rid of that, well, let's just do it step by step, right? So those go away, that gives me an x is equal to, if I multiply that, that's y times x, or xy plus wy. Yes, all divided by the denominator, y plus z. All right, now I need to get rid of this denominator, and that's a y plus z. And this side is a y plus those will cancel out, and this side becomes xy plus xz, and now that equals to this side, xy plus wy. Now, what do you notice? They both have an xy. So we can subtract xy from both sides, like we used to do in algebra last year. And leaving me with xz is equal to wy. And, and if I divide by wz, kind of a special, you can see the z's cancel here, the w's cancel here, leaving me with x compared to w is equal to y compared to z. And if I go back and look at my original 
triangle, x compared to w is going to be the same thing as y compared to z. Now, I, remember, what I started with were the whole sides compared, right? So it was the whole big x compared to y is equal to x, the whole thing, xw compared to yz. Uh, I got an x compared to w, piece to piece, is y compared to z. I could also state the same thing. Uh, uh, let's make maybe more clear. X to y should be the same thing as w to z. And let's see if I if I if I look at that right there, that was an that was x z and that was w y. If I divide by something else, let's say if you want x compared to y, then I would divide by y here, and I want to and this one's going to be uh, x compared to y, and you want w compared to z. So instead of dividing by wz, I can divide by yz, leaving me with the ratio that you want. Works both ways. Pretty cool, right? Just another way of writing. You make the proportion work the way you want to. So in words, what that means is if a line parallel to one side of a triangle passes through the other side, then it divides the other two sides proportionally. Uh, a picture of it, right? Uh, maybe I should, you should draw a picture. If this is parallel to this, and this is my X and Y, and this is an A and B, and we said it a couple ways. We could say we could say X compared to Y is A compared to B. Or you could say, likewise, I did it the other way, X compared to A would be Y compared to B. Whatever works for you. And today I have an example, and I gave you some numbers, and I want to find out the missing values. So we could go make them all similar triangles, and they do would be corresponding angles, corresponding angles. There's three sets of similar triangles. Uh, so where do we do? I, I gave you these this little section. So two compared to two point eight, or how about two point eight compared to two would be x compared to three. Multiply both sides by three. X would be get my calculator out, multiply it out, that turns out to be 4.2. Yes, uh, I like my variables on the numerator, so I'll do y to 4. And then I could use the answer that I did before, you know, use that 4.2, but why do that if you don't have to? And I would avoid doing that because if I made a mistake, then I'm just compounding the problem. So y to 4, is 2.8 to 2. Multiply again by 4. That leaves me y. Here, I'll do it for you. Just to show you that it does, I like my fraction, which is my 2.8, divided by 2. Multiply times 4. 5.6. And it looks like it should be. If this side is a little bit bigger, so should that be side be bigger than the four. And finally, and the three was a, this four point two was a little bit bigger than that. Finally, I have a z. Now the common mistake is that everybody would do the same thing. Two is two point eight as four, or, or three is to four as four is to z, and that is going to get you a terrible, terrible wrong answer. It's not four compared to z. In this case, because because I'm not cutting that side up, you have to do three to four, and the whole side to the whole side. So what we're going to do, or maybe I'll do it. We'll put the variable in the front. Z compared to this whole side. Four, six, seven, eight, nine. 
four, two, three. Multiply by nine. Giving me 36 over three, which is 12. I have all my missing values now. Simple enough, straightforward. Be careful of the side that's not cut. This side is cut proportionally. This side's not touched. Therefore, you have to use side to side. And that's exactly what I've done for our understanding problems. So I've given you some decimals. Won't be scared of decimals. You can use a calculator. You can set them all up. You can use your iPhone. But give me a decimal answer. There's all the centimeters. And you're looking for A, C, D, and B. All right. I hope that this makes sense and is good enough for you to carry on. Well, we'll see you tomorrow.